Hello, I am Esther Nkechinyere Odunze and welcome to my life as NK Vibes. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are a returning subscriber, oh my love for you. Thank you for being a part of this family. Thank you for always watching my video. And if you are new to this channel, welcome. Please click on the red button, subscribe to my channel, like this video and share your comments with me in the comment section. So, in today's video, I'll be talking about a checklist of what to take to the Nigerian law school. I mean, I'm an authority. <laughs> As you know, I've been called to the Nigerian but I was called to the bar on the 7th of December, that was 2022, and I am now a barista and solicitor of the Supreme Court of Nigeria. You know, you know, please let me brag. I have bragging rights. <laughs> Ah, I mean, it was just like yesterday when I was running around, what should I carry, what should I not carry, especially because, you know, there's this um, weight limit when you are flying, so I wanted to, like, get my stuff below 23 kg, you know, I was flying with Dana Airlines, so it was 23 kg, so, in case you have thoughts like that on what to carry to law school, you don't want to carry too much and you don't want to underpack too, so that's why I'm making this video, and please stay with me as I do this. All right, so I classified all the things into different categories. I have category for dressing, for provisions, for toiletries, I have for reading, stationaries, and other stuff that you would need. So for dressing, as a lady, you know you're supposed to carry your white and black, like white blouses, black skirts, black gowns. I know there is this rumor about some campuses not allowing black gowns, but I don't know of any campus not allowing black gowns. Like during our time, people were always shouting, oh, Enugu does not allow black gowns and all, oh, but it's a lie. They allow black gowns. But then for dinners, that's for the mandatory dinners, you can't wear black gowns in Enugu campus. So just get decent, please. I mean, some people got away with a lot of indecent outfits, but then I really don't want stress. I mean, the two times that I wore contraband, like not even contraband like that, like I, I wore a shirt that was not so white, milk colored. They sent me away one time for skirts, or was it for gown that my gown was too short? Like, you don't really want issues with my showers. I don't want them to like spoil my day or something. So I just prefer to dress appropriately to class. So as you're picking your outfits, as you're picking your clothes for class, make sure things that you're wearing are like the regulatory wear, white shirt, black skirt if you are going to be wearing gown black gowns that kind and if you need cardigans to make sure that your cardigans are black they don't allow um other colored cardigans in the law school so get black cardigans if you are one that is prone to cold and i know that in abuja campus the ac is always on and it's, it's always cold kind of and in kanu to kanu is always cold i think you too is cold so please get black cardigans for that Another thing you want to take is also blazers, yeah, for dinners, yeah, you are meant to wear like your suit. So in case you cannot go like afford a complete suit, just buy a blazer, just the jacket, buy camisoles, and then wear with your black skirt. In fact, that's like my, my outfit for days that I am already late for class. I just wear one camisole, wear my blazer. You only need like one or two blazers. You can wear like the same blazer twice or three times in a week so far you are drying it so it does not smell you get that kind of thing so that's that another thing too is you need um casual clothes there will be tutorial classes in the evening you can't be wearing white and black to tutorial classes so don't let anyone tell you that you only need white and black there's nothing there's no life in love to just read it they like you go for tutorials <laughs> and when you go for tutorials you cannot wear white and black so you have to like wear casual clothes, church clothes, take your church clothes, jogging, if you are one who jogs, you can take your jogging clothes. I mean, I even recommend jogging for everybody in law school. Just do something on Saturday. I mean, in any campus, we used to have this old joint gym stuff where everybody goes to the gym. Not everybody, shy. it's optional. Like, but most people on Saturday, they come out, jog together, do some exercises, dance, they even post on TikTok and all those. So if you would like to do that too, you can take your jogging clothes, take your running shoes, and then, yeah, black shoes. Black shoes, you can't wear multicolored shoes, you can't wear colored shoes, they are not allowed, brown not allowed, navy blue not allowed, just black shoes. And the same thing goes for guys too, guys. They allow um, this thing, navy blue pants, gray, all this dark gray dark gray pants they also allow navy blue gowns for ladies but 
they, they, are, they, 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 they used to put so much eyes on ladies so like they'll be like oh your navy blue is too flashy your navy blue is too this like so i just stick to just black gowns i don't have strength for my shells honestly you don't really want any my shells spoiling your day so that's that and then yeah there's wrapper to cover yourself in the night blankets especially for people that will be in the cold areas in fact just take blankets yeah because i mean as time goes on and um, the seasons will change it might become cold at some point so just take your blanket too to prevent the cold and all bags too i know people mention things about transparent bags i'm not so sure if it is mandatory in all campuses and i really don't i did not hear of any campus that made it compulsory but you can just like buy a, a transparent bag i also had one transparent bag in case they made it compulsory but i had other bags too so other bags with at least one transparent bag in case they want you guys to carry transparent bags so what else what else your shoes they allow heels like not really high heels just cut shoes they allow that i had a friend my classmate that used to always wear he used to class but she's like on the short side and she really fancied you so she used to wear heels to classes so you can always bring your heels to nobody stopping you from wearing your heels and that's that for dressing oh yeah i should mention that you need leather shoes for dinner you know those you know normally flat shoes but there are some shoes that are glossy they don't allow glossy shoes for dinner i mean the last one our last dinner the lady was asking what are you wearing i, I felt like knocking at and telling her that i'm wearing now i'm wearing i'm wearing basket on my leg or just something sarcastic they sent me back for shoes because i was wearing a glossy shoe so only leather shoes for dinner and i think it goes the same in all campuses to share but you may want to ask like people that are that went to the campus that you posted with just for like to confirm the information about that so next category is provisions you don't want to joke with food <laughs> like you're already stressed about law school like food should not be part of the things that will be stressing you so like get serious milo uh, milo crunches or golden mono cornflakes fruits and fibers is it coca oats granola anything that is your cereal like just take lots of cereals take gary take granules take sugar milk and milo like anything you can munch on snacks like if you are because you'll be doing a lot of overnight reading so take a lot of snacks you can just buy one pack of biscuits one bottle of chin chin all those kind of things and when it finishes in law school you can always like refuel that kind of thing and this is the point where i say if you have an uncle or a friend that does not mind sending you money please accept their money accept that you're a broke person for this loss because you will need to be buying a lot of food like you are stressing you are reading so much you need food like you should not be cutting down on food you should not be doing too much budgeting on food so like just eat as much as you can it will help your body like it will help you get strength so on that food too i'm going to be writing you need cup yeah yeah cup for your tea bowls for gari for cereals you need your cutleries you need your water bottle yeah classes are always long so you need water to take a class if you're the person that takes tea like i might i had um, a flask for tea so i used to take tea to class so i'll take a um, biscuit and tea or cake and tea bread and tea in the morning i used to carry food too because i stayed off campus or you buy food i buy bread and a car during break there's always break so you can always go out and buy so the next one is reading i mean these are the big part of law school so the first thing is a4 paper a4 paper like i never knew i needed a4 paper until I got to law school, you are going to be having so many, like there will be so many cases, so many principles to learn. What you can do with the A4 paper is that like you write, oh, this section is for this, this principle is for this, this case is for this. And when you write all this stuff, you can always like paste them on the walls of your room. Like you buy cello tape too, so you can paste your A4 papers or you can just get sticky notes. So sticky notes, you know, there will be like, there is this rules of professional conduct, like rule 1 to like 53. I have a challenge on that. I have videos on that, on how to like easily memorize the rules of professional conduct on my channel. You can just like go through my videos. You are going to see that. So you can just write it on your sticky note. Oh, rule 1, so, 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 rule 2, so, so, so. Then you stick it to, like you can stick it on the 
close to the wall by your bedside on your wardrobe you get that kind of thing so your a4 paper so you can do that with your a4 papers and for drafting we're going to be drafting doing a lot of drafting especially civil litigation so you can draft with your a4 paper or you buy a higher education sheet for your drafting Another thing that you need under toilet, uh, under reading, you also need this high highlighter. If you are the type of person that you use to color your book, you color your textbooks too, maybe for easy understanding. I don't use it for my roommate, but see, she used to use highlighters for her books. She underlines whenever she's reading, she highlights, you get that kind of thing. So if you are that type of person, please carry. Another thing, I, other things I wrote, I wrote lamp, rechargeable lamp, please. Because I don't know the campus that you are going to be posted in, but some campuses regulate power supply. And if you are a night person, like if you are a night reader, you would need your rechargeable lamp. You need rechargeable fan too, especially for the hot weather. Class may be too hot. If they don't give you light overnight, the room will be too hot. That's during the hot weather. So just get rechargeable fan if you can. You can get all these small ones, this table size on. Just anyone that works for you. So it's something that you should write on your list. I think they sell like the small ones for like 2000 25. So if you can afford it, please buy that. I wrote extension. Yeah, extension box. Like three, four extension box to charge your phone, charge your laptop, charge your lamp. You get that kind of thing. So if people don't want to be lining up. To be charging your stuff especially if they are regulating power supply in your campus i'm thinking for enugu people enugu people people don't there's no light there's no light they bring light from like 7 a.m to like 2 p.m or 4 p.m when classes end then they take it then they bring it 7 p.m to like 12 a.m so there's really no lights like that you don't have that ab abundance of light so you need to be charging you need power bank if you can buy power bank well abuja people they are on a flex i think lagos guys too they are on a flex so they have as much light so you don't really need power bank or extension box so if it's if you are posted to lagos or abuja you can make that optional but for any room carry your power bank as they carry your book they carry your power bank you get so other thing Okay, I wrote earphones, especially if, if you would want to be reading before classes, like you are going to class early, people will be making a lot of noise and you want to probably like read something, try to revise something, buy earphones to just to block out all the noise. Or if you are reading in the room and your roommates are making noise, not every time that you'll be shouting on your roommates or fighting them because you people will definitely or not have the same reading calendar. So just buy earphones to block out all the noise and um i wanted to say yeah files you know paper files to just there will be a lot of paperwork personal data from bio data from statement of results from different things that they will give you to you just buy paper files a lot of paper files all these clear bags to put in all your paperwork is very important to do that and another thing i wanted to mention is i would like to mention um tables and chairs that would be when you get to law school i know many many campuses like they make provisions for renting all those stuff you know all those cleaners people that clean the hostels they tell our sister or brother she you want to rent chair you rent chair for like four thousand for the whole year and when you are going you give it to them back but your room may be too small i'm i'm speaking from the perspective of Enugu campus in campus the rooms are just too small so everybody could not really afford to like even if you had the money you could not really afford to buy tables and chairs because there will be no space to put the tables and chairs so you can get all this lap lap desk you know all this covered stuff i'll get a picture of it and put it on the screen so all this lap desk if you can afford it but if not people will look for how to be doing your tables and chairs or you'll be going to classes to read to whatever classes to go and read overnight or i don't know how it will work or read on your bed so people read on their bed but if you're the kind of person that falls asleep easily just look for how you guys your room maybe people can look for how to just rent chairs no matter how small the room is people will manage it rent chairs rent table for your reading this thing that's for your reading pleasure and that that's for people that don't have tables and chairs provided by the campus i would have people on netflix <laughs> they have tables and chairs so this part of the video is not for them definitely so there's another category for toiletries for my ladies we know we are carrying our pads that's menstrual pads if you are the tampon or menstrual cup person i'm not part of you people so carry it <laughs> I don't even know how you guys do that stuff, you know that tampon or cup stuff. So I just stick to my menstrual pads, traditional girl, please 
your pants liners, tissue, roll on, that's deodorants, perfumes. Buy in excess, honestly. Just when I was going to the store, I bought like four roll ons, that's Nivea roll on. I ordered from Jumia, but perfume oils had like four different types of fragrances. I mean, I'm, I'm already stressed, I can't be smelling awful too. So, you know, I'm slaying, I'm reading, I'm praying, I'm doing all the nice things. <laughs> Carry your skincare products, your hair care products to please look good as much as you can. I mean, there's really not that much time, but with the little time that you have, still look good. You don't want, like some people in law school, they'll be looking so, I mean, I have my moments too. I have moments where I'll be looking all tattered and all, but at least for the most part, I was intentional about looking good. So please try as much as possible to look good too, even though you're going to be under so much stress too like it even make you feel better i mean like walking all confident smelling nice looking all fly and fine so you can't be sad and exhausted from law school and still be looking all that that too now don't do that to yourself so on that toilet list to please your toothpaste don't forget i mean you can always buy all this stuff in law school but if you can carry it from home just do that too so laundry bag we have laundry bag but just big nylon bag yeah, i now have laundry bag i just this oh you know this shopping bag all these big shopping bags that's what i use for my laundry bag so that, i think that's that on that toiletry that category is medicine see i am not propagating self-medication but you can't bank on the health center day there was one time I was sick, like I felt like I was going to die that day. I was so exhausted, I wanted to faint. I went to the office and it was on a Sunday. This woman told me that there was no doctor on call, that I still look strong, so I should wait till tomorrow. I felt like, that, like I was so angry. I was like, man, is it because I'm not for I'm not I'm not attempting to fall down? Is it because I'm not crying? Is it because like I'm feeling so weak? So why can't you just look for something? Say that ah that no, I look strong, I can hold it. So I had to go off campus to go and buy malaria drugs, you know, to see another doctor, that kind of thing. So please, if you can take malaria drugs with you, take when you're feeling too weak, that kind of thing. Or if they or you can just get tested in the health center and then use your malaria drugs to get that kind of thing. You can take paracetamol, please don't overdose on paracetamol before every time you take paracetamol you just when the worst comes to work then you can try to use paracetamol and if you are prone to allergies like i myself i do have skin reactions new environment you can infect bites me i have i easily react to stuff so i add my loratidine so once i start feeling my body itching i just take one loratidine i'm fine so if you're that kind of person so please buy your loratidine just blood turning just by any like medicine that you used to use at home normally please don't forget to take them with you to the law school because the health center there may not really be up to your standard so i hope you get that part please no self-medication so there's the others category that's for needle and thread in case your clothes tears they will be tailored on campus shower so well. I mean, if it's just like one button that moves or just one thing, or if your pants are tall. <laughs> so just take your needle and thread, anger. I think I mentioned it already. That's clothes anger, clips for your clothes, for drying your clothes, combs, umbrella. Yes, it's actually very important. Like three or four times I was stuck on campus because I did not have umbrella and it was raining. So take umbrella, all these small umbrellas or a coat. There will be mornings where it will be raining. You can't say you won't go to class because it will be raining. So take umbrella, take raincoat, take sunglasses. So when you're going back to the hotel, it's too hot. Nose masks too. For people in Yola campus, Kano campus, where there are a lot of dust, where there's a lot of dust. So just take your nose mask with you. What else? I, I don't know. I hope I'm not missing anything. Just basically. <laughs> Just take everything that you do take at home and still try to watch it so you don't like overpack stuff. That I mean that's like the whole essence of this video. I don't want you to overpack unnecessary stuff and I also don't want you to miss out on the necessary things that you need in law school. And if you even forget anything, you can always buy in law school. But I'm just making this video to just give you a sense of clarity. You understand that kind of thing. So I wish you all the very best in law school. Me, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Law school is going to stress you. It's going to be so exhausting, but 
anything you want is very achievable. If it is the that you are looking for in those things, you can achieve it. It is very possible. The people that have been achieving it, they don't have to air. If it is a fantastic copper, if it is lower, if it is just pass, anything you want, you can get it in the law school and be prayerful. I mean, like, pray, prayer, like, in law school, prayer is just that thing that will give you sanity. Because you'll be teaching some things that you may not even understand. At some point, you'll be reading, you feel like what am I reading? If you feel as if you don't even know anything, you don't understand anything, just keep reading, keep praying, keep reading, keep praying. Listen to a lot of songs, listen to songs that calm you. Maybe I'm going to share my playlist for law school in the description box. So, like, I had a playlist that I used to listen to every morning in class in the night like they calm my nerves so just listen to a lot of songs talk to your friends this is the time like those your friends like practice long distance relationship your friends will probably be in lagos they'll probably be in calabar be in Yenagua, be anywhere else that you are knowing so just talk to your friends make a, a weekly schedule oh every sunday i want to be calling my parents every sunday i want to be calling my friends if you want to cry talk call your friends like this is not the point where you, you should be feeling isolated like reach out to your friends just reach out to your loved ones as much as you can they are not going to give you sanity because at some point not to be a lot and it is only god it is only your relative it's only your loved ones that can like make it make sense so I'm wishing you all the best. You can always reach out to me, LinkedIn, on Instagram, Twitter. I think my, my social media pages are in my description box. I will also add them in my comment section. So you can always reach out to me if you need any advice on anything, if you need my opinion on anything. So I'm wishing you the best, really. And thank you for watching up to this point. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to my channel as much as i can i will try to make this um this channel very useful for law school aspirants so bye